Inspiring hope. It's easy to proclaim, put on a t-shirt, and talk about it. Doing something to try and inspire hope is sometimes a good step, but can also miss the mark. What is difficult is doing something that truly inspires hope and becomes so contagious that you want to be a part, to get on that bus with others and ride. International Esperanza Project, or IEP, is about improving lives and transforming communities through healthcare and community development projects. Medical teams, stove teams, and other special teams are now regularly bringing hope to countries like Guatemala. Last year, for example, one team alone saw 1,640 patients in the clinics. 144 surgeries were performed. Many families still cook over open fires, which are the cause of severe burns and health problems from the smoke and gases, plus the deforestation. To continue the fight to breathe clean indoor air and use less firewood, one stove team trip alone installed 13 industrial stoves into schools and 61 stoves and water purifiers into family homes. Imagine the impact as eight more teams go to Guatemala in 2018. So hope is being shared, not just in name, but action as evidenced by this teacher in an education program with 100% parental collaboration. Atenemos a los niños, realmente tenemos a los niños y muchos de ellos sin comida, salen de su casa sin el, el desayuno respectivo dentro del estómago. ¿verdad? De hecho que estas ayudas es muy grande, muy beneficioso para nosotros. Es una esperanza. No solo el nombre lo dice, sino que también la esperanza. International Esperanza Project, or IEP, has committed to providing one nutritious meal a day. Since this began, attendance has increased by 20%. The children and the teachers of El Molino have captured the hearts of the volunteers and International Esperanza Project staff. This has led to action in developing a socioeconomic study on the families in the school community. And finally, all of the families in the school have signed up to receive a smoke-free stove in their homes in which they pay a percentage of the cost. You can see and feel the momentum of hope building. This boy named Mauricio is standing next to his teacher. The story of Mauricio is the very embodiment of hope that inspires, for this is what he looked like not too long ago. He was bullied and called a monster. Without surgery, he certainly would have gone blind in one eye, and eventually a life-threatening situation. Through the efforts of Mauricio's teachers, who actively looked for help, through the skilled hands of an eye surgeon and an entire team of medical personnel from Guatemala, Mexico, Colombia, and the United States, through the administrative workings of many long hours, all of these collective efforts helped make the healing and transformation of Mauricio's face into what it is today. And through the motivation to help Mauricio, more people have been drawn in and have been motivated to provide the same hope and transformation that is so evident in Mauricio to others in Guatemala. Which leads to one more special person whose story highlights why IEP is uniquely gathering a growing movement of people sharing and caring with their resources and skills. Dr. Jorge Corona, the medical director for IEP and oculoplastic surgeon, learned about a young girl in Guatemala who had a double cleft lip, a blind eye, and other serious complications with her face. He visited her along with cranial facial surgeon Dr. Raul Barcelo, who both determined that in fact with a series of procedures, it will be possible to help her along with her one good eye. Further diagnosis was made in cooperation with the Guatemalan-based medical group. They determined that she is neurologically functioning well and everyone agreed that she is active and has a charm to her. Caring for Sophia and beginning the journey towards her healing highlights the integrated cooperation found in IEP. Guatemalans with Americans, with Mexicans, with Colombians, along with an incredibly diverse group of people from around the globe are coming together. Providing a medical procedure for someone like Sofia or Mauricio requires follow-up care and expertise, but we 
and she will need your help. The great news is that we are seeing Guatemalan medical professionals and others stepping up in a big way, so as you join with us, it makes all the difference in the world to her successful healing. We not only want to inspire hope, but we want to capture your imagination in what can be, what you can help make happen. As we move forward in installing more stoves, eye clinics, schools, and significant medical services, imagine yourself being a part of the Healing for Sophia, for families to stop breathing and smoke as they cook, and for children to get the nutrition and education to help their own people. Imagine yourself getting on this bus, inspiring hope.